Okay, what's going on? It's Mando Crusader, and welcome to an MTGA video. This time, we are looking at a historic brawl deck that I came up with. So, for those of you who didn't know, 100 card historic brawl is on Magic the Gathering Arena right now. You can go and play it, it's completely free to enter. And while it isn't the queue, we're getting that on the 24th, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, it is an event that's going to be transformed into the permanent queue. So, yeah. And, what's more, in this event, for your first win, you get 3,000 Mastery Pass XP. That's three whole levels. So, yeah. That's really fun. And because of that... I wanted to try out a deck for it. This is one that I made up myself. Um, based around the Commander Maja Bredegard Protector. Um, before we get into the deck, uh, I'm not going through every single card because that would take literal, like, probably about a half hour. But um, I'm going to go into the highlights. But before I do that, I just want to mention that if you like my content, uh, be sure to leave a like. It really helps the channel out. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe and button and ring the bell because that helps out immensely as well. Also, leave a comment with any feedback you want you would like to give on the channel or any decks you'd like me to try out in MTGA MTG, or MTGL or any other games you want me to play because I take requests for all of those things. So with that out of the way, let's get into the deck a little bit. Um, really, this deck is themed around two things and those things are... Landfall and tokens. We have a lot of creatures that make tokens. You got Maja, our commander, obviously. We also have Scoot Swarm, really good card. Um, we also have cards that benefit from Landfall, such as Scoot Swarm and our commander. <laughs> but more broadly, um, Lotus Cobra, Prowling Fel 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 Felidar, um, just good stuff, really. Um, and Really, that's the deck. The It's literally just get cards, get land onto the battlefield, as much land as we can, get tokens in the battlefield, as many tokens as we can, and win the game from there. Um, I once had a game where I got like 30 Scoot Swarms onto the battlefield. The, this deck can get real wild real quick. Um, we also have some general removal. We've got, you know... Um, if I can find it in here. Um, Blizzard Brawl, Portable Hole, Mana Tithe, um, you know, stuff like that. Uh, scavenging Ooze. Um, we also have some protection from our bigger creatures, like Alice of Life's Bounty and Selfless Savior. Um, we've got value cards like Yarshan, Archon of Amiria, just general good stuff. And we've got our finishers, of course. we got a... a Ashaya, Soul of the Wild. We've got Elish Norn, Grand Cenobite, a one off Ugin, because what commander deck is complete without an Ugin? Um, and of course, we got the mana base. It's not the most high tech thing. It's got Castle Ardenvale, you know, Snow Covered Forests. We got the Pathway, we got the Cycle Land, um, all Snow Lands for some synergies and stuff like Blizzard Brawl. Um,. And, yeah, that's about it. Now, I want to make one thing really, really clear before we get into the into games. This is a deck that I threw together with the cards that I happen to have. I've, I crafted exactly one card for this deck, and that was a card I was planning on crafting anyway, and that was Lanawar Elves, which you should just have four off, four of anyway. Um, if you're playing Historic. That's the only card I crafted for this deck. All of these I just had lying around, and I threw them together, together in this deck. This deck is by no means optimized. It, it's missing Kazandu Mammoth. It's missing the Shockland and the Checkland. And that's sort of the point of the video. Because Historic Brawl can be scary. It can be very scary. Because it's Historic... And, you know, how am I going to build a deck with only one card of each? And this is sort of what I wanted 
to make this video for for people who might have been scared that oh I don't have a big collection I can't possibly play this this format and I'm saying no yes you can here's a deck that I threw together with cards that I had and it can get wins you can get wins and you should get at least one win so you can get that three extra mastery pass levels so yeah that's sort of the point of this deck to maybe give any of you guys out there the confidence to go into historic brawl and go in swinging and give it your best shot so yeah with that big introduction out of the way with all the pontificating done uh let's get into some games and let's see how this deck does All right, let's go. So, um, we only have one type of land, but I think this will work out. I think this will really work out. Because we have Ranger class. That can help us get going a little bit. We also have Glittering Frost if we get one more mana. Um, oh! There's the mana we need. And... Next turn, we can do Snow-Covered Forest into Glittering Frost. And then, then turn after that, we can get out Yarshan and Placeable Earth. So, we'll be able to get some land from this. We'll be able to... And, and, and I should say, we sh we'll be able to stop our opponent a little bit. Because as long as your Shan's around, players can't pay life. And they can't sacrifice non-land permanents to cast spells or activate abilities. So, yeah, good stuff. Um... Alright. Actually... This sort of changes things. We're going to put out Champion of... Uh, there's so many good choices here. Um, actually, I'm going to upgrade Ranger class. So that we can get that power level going early. So swing in for three. And hopefully our opponent... Doesn't do anything too crazy. So what Champion of Lambolt does is... Oh! Mythos of Nethroni. So there goes our Ranger class, unfortunately. Um... Basically, whenever another creature enters a battlefield under your control, put a woman count on it, and creatures that power less than the champion um, can't block us. So we're going to swing in for another three. As our opponent takes a stride. And they are really ramping up a storm. And actually, I think it's time to bring out our commander. I just realized we could do this. There's so much good, just good stuff in this deck. And now we're swinging in for four, because our commander gives all of our creatures plus one, plus one. So I think we still have a turn before they can cast their commander. So, red, all right. And they do have wi the Beldros Witherbloom again. Nope, they can cast it now. All right. So now they can start casting things, which is m very mildly concerning. Um, and there's Nicole Bolas. 
So now we need to be very, very careful about what we cast. Um, okay, we could do Gift of Estates. And I think that is what we're going to do. Maybe? We have to be very careful. Because they're gonna they're gonna go ham next turn. Um I think we need to bring out your Sean. And we get our basic forest and basic planes. As we get another token from our commander. And I think we're going to pass. We're not going to attack because our wolf will just die. Um, I really wish I had our kind of a Myria. That way they can only cast one thing. Though I do believe our Yarshan does mean they can't activate Bolas. We also have Veil of Summer. There's Opportunistic Dragon. And they gain control of our commander. I think it's time for Champion of Lambholt. And... Let's see, the first Eroan games would be... Not, a, not the worst thing to play. But I think we're going to wait to flash in Guardian of Faith if necessary. Gilded Lotus. As they just continue to ramp. Grab Omen of the Hunt. And I'll grab a planes, put it on the battlefield. This would be great if we had our commander right now, but they just got to opportunistic dragon it, so we don't really get that. Um right, I guess we're playing the first Rowan game. So, our hope, my hope here is we can build up our champion so that they can't block me. Okay. So, there's Niv Mizzet. We're going to phase out our entire board. So they cannot do anything to any of our creatures except Guardian of Faith. There's Nicole Bolas. Kill Guardian of Faith. 
Um, we're going to discard Gift of Estates because I doubt we're going to be using that. And I think they probably won the game. They are able to do their rampies. Or not. And they're just gonna veil of summer at just for fun. And I think this may in fact be lethal. So we have eight, nine. Let's see. We're gonna attack all. And that's game. <laughs> that is game. That's GG, right there. All right. Let's see what we have here. Okay, this is a good hand. This is a good hand. This is a great hand, actually. We've got Lanowar Elves, one mana of each kind, Clarion Spirit, Owen of the Hunt. Yeah. Yeah, this is the good stuff. So definitely a sacrifice deck. Um we are going to throw out on the hunt. And we're gonna search for another planes. Put it onto the battlefield. We can bring out Maja next turn. Here. So next turn, we're going to want to play Brittigard Stronghold. Luminous Broodmaw? I actually have an answer to that, I think. Maybe? Um, ooh! Champion of Loyalty. Lambholt. Not Loyalty. Lambholt. Brittigard Stronghold. Um, and... We are going to do Cabrea Takedown on Luminous Brood Moth. We're not going to attack. Next turn, we put out Clarion Spirit and the first Aroan games. I'm dropping just fuel for the and he won the game. So yeah, this fits in. This just fits in like so, so perfectly with every single part of his game plan. But hopefully we can go wide enough that this won't matter. So we can't take control of someone else. No fire, no steel. No, well, there goes to fairy's protection. Probably bring out the blood avatar now. Or 
or is he just gonna wipe my entire field? Probably that. I think I'm gonna be getting a little bit too wide for him. Uh, Murderous Ride of the Clarion Spirit. Um, let's see. I think on the Spirit. Also, we get Fable Passage. So we get two more um, human warriors. I think we want another snow card. And we are going to sacrifice one of the hunt scry two. And both of those are great cards. My goodness. Kill the planeswalker. Although it's probably going to cost me in the long run. He's probably going to kill that spirit. Although he only has three cards left in hand. So maybe we're slightly in the clear for a turn at least. Nope, definitely not. Song Bad Treachery. And definitely has a way to sack it. Oh, it's uh Awaken the Blood Avatar. That's what that's the way he's gonna have to sack it. So he gets some really nice sack outlets going here. He gets to refill his hand. And then he gets to do it again next turn. Um, well then. Well, at least they don't have Cruel Celebrant anymore. So that is... Or Midnight Reaper, unless they have some form of Graveyard Recursion. That was a really quick scratch. They must have something they really want there. And now he gets to, you know, he gets to put out a second Blood Avatar. As well as Luka Copper put out that. Always loyal. That is a soldier's duty. With a sanitarium skeleton. Migratory Great Horn onto the Lanoir Elves. And I think we're going to get a forest. Get another human. And... No attacks. my tactics we need a really good top deck we need something good and there's cast out on aspirant They only have one card left, so they're going to be top-decking really soon. Uh, 
this ain't it. <coughs> that simply ain't it. Okay. So if this becomes a six, seven, four, six, yeah, they can just, they can just end this. So the, the only hope I have is playing defense. If they didn't get, if they didn't get this from Luca, which is just there forever now. Uh, <laughs> go. It whiffed on it. Well, that's good for us. They only have two cards in hand plus these two. And now I put up Extus. Oh, that must be another really good one. Bala Ged Recovery. What do we need? We need Champion of Lambolt. All right. So, we have that now. Now we just need to hope and pray that we get some, just something, anything, really. And he whiffs again on the Luka. That's really, really good for us. Um, Croxa is not good. And never mind, I thought Champion of Lambert. Why didn't they do it to Champion of Lambert? Oh. All right. Okay. But now they're getting Croxa on the field. We really need some either some token generators or like Elish Norn would be great right about now. Um, Thriving Heath. Okay, so there's a 3-3. Three, three. Now, Champion of Lambholt is a 3-3. Three, three. So, now, Judith, Sanitarium Skeleton, and Dinosaur cannot block. Liliana Dreadboard General. That's a really good My top deck. Good mindless minion. They were a lousy servant anyway. Do you get Elish Norn or another token generator? Just spare a sentinel. <sighs> okay. All right. So we need to go now, or we do not go. Mm -hmm. They can block our creatures with Croxa. Mm -hmm. But...
We can attack. The only creature they can block with is Croxa. And if they block with Croxa, they lose Croxa. So our opponent may has to make a decision on who or and or what to block. They block nothing. Oh, because they can just now attack with all of their stuff and win. Monsters are the key to defending my city. Putrid, but effective. Mirror's Call. And there's the Sprood Moth. Everyone's indestructible. And that's game. Mulligan hand. No, this isn't much better, but we'll give it a shot. Alright. Looks like we're playing mono black devotion here. Ish start. Although our opponent is way, way ahead of me. All right, put out territorial scythe cat. Wilds. This time I'd like to put on the planes. Alright. So now we've got a nice 4 3 blocker, assuming it doesn't get removed. It is immune to Heartless Act. So that is a plus, and it's immune to Fatal Push. Hexproof from Planeswalkers, all right. Okay. 
Because we can't play anything else this turn. Because we're about to take a big hit from Eradicator Valkyrie. our opponent thinking of over there. And, alright. That's a win. We didn't even get to pop off there. Next turn was probably gonna be either Maja, Victory's Envoy, or Ashaya. But, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a sweet dub ski right there. Alright, so that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope this inspires you to go out and make your own 100 card historic brawl deck and try the format. It's a really fun format. I enjoy it. I know I'm going to be playing it a lot. And Wizard says that if we play it a lot, they'll keep it around forever. So uh, vote with your time and your... Well, your time, really. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I will leave this deck list in a pinned comment, so keep a lookout for that. And, uh, if, remember, if you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. Um, also, subscribe and ring the bell. That really, really helps the channel. And comment below any other decks you want me to play in either MTG game or uh, any other games you want me to play, or any feedback you have for the channel. I appreciate it all, and I do take requests. So thank you all for watching, and uh, that's about it. See ya.